Hi YouTube, my name is Sincere Gonzalez. I'm a realtor in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Today we are going to explore nine gated communities that are good for families. These are not 55 and over communities and they're obviously not gonna be scattered lots. So there is gonna be an HOA fee associated with living in these communities. They're amazing. Um, I have particular thoughts about each one and some of them being that they charge a whole bunch of money for upgrades and anyway I'll talk about that as we go along as um, we get the information out to you and as you pick your date to fly into Florida I'll be making contact with you myself and making sure that you are taken care of and that you will see everything that you need to see when you are in Florida and that you make the most use of your time I want to say also before we start and head out to the communities that it's like super important that you visit these builders with your realtor once you register at these builders without a realtor then you don't have the right to be represented by a realtor and it's very priceless to have a realtor with you because you're gonna save so much time you know, a realtor is going to organize a tour for you and you're going to save money with upgrades that you could probably do for a lot less money after you move in. You're going to um, have someone there and when things go wrong during construction because sometimes things do go wrong. So, and all of that representation from a local expert is completely free to you. It's very important that everybody knows and is aware that you don't have to pay a realtor when you're a buyer. Um, it's completely free representation. So take advantage of that. Call your realtor and you know, I hope you enjoy this tour. It's gonna be nine gated communities. We'll go in order. I'll talk about the HOA fees and I'll talk about what prices are right now. They're ever changing because there's a huge demand for real estate in Florida, as everybody knows, half of California, half of New York, um, people from all over the place are moving to Florida. I've heard it's like a thousand people a day are moving to Florida and it's crazy. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this tour. Let's go. I'm gonna put a link up here to a video that I'm gonna make that is going to be about the five reasons that you should not really go to a builder without your realtor and if you absolutely must go to a builder without your realtor because you can't wait for the appointment or because you're in town and anyway for whatever reason sometimes people just don't want to wait you can go see all the models and politely decline to register until your realtor is present did you know that so that you can take advantage of the free representation and you'll see why in my video five reasons why you should never go to a builder without your realtor so the first community that we're at is Manderley. Of course, you guys have heard me talk a million times and you have probably watched my video on YouTube about Manderley. I'm gonna link it up here for you. This community is amazing. Oh my God, we just pulled in and they started building the clubhouse. That is so exciting. The sad thing about Manderley is that they're almost sold out. There's no more Rowan's, which is the amazing two-story home. There's very limited Dahlia's. So I'm gonna go in there and pull information and see what's left and I'm gonna update you guys. Um, I am in constant contact with them and of course I can get you the list of the homes that are available and the lots that are available. Um, last time I checked you could get a home here, one of the smaller homes for about $350 with the land included and the upgrades and all that good stuff. So anyway, let's take a quick little look at Manderley's Clubhouse. Oh my god, it's so cute. I really love this community. The HOA fee is about $370 but it includes cable lawn care and internet there is the clubhouse Ooh, looks so cute community is really coming along all right so now we're gonna go inside and i'm gonna give you guys an update on what is up in mandarin all right so just as a refresher these are the model homes in mandarin that's the aspen the briar the dahlia and the rowan but of course there aren't any rowans left Okay, so I just met with the people at Manderley and they actually only have 25 homes left in the entire community. That's very depressing, but they are all spec'd out and it, it seems to be that the lowest price one you can get is the Aspen. They have, an As they have Aspens, Briars, Yarrows, and a couple Dahlias. The Rowans are all sold out. Let's go take a look at the models for what they have real quick. 
This is the Aspen model. This is the Aspen model. There's only a few left and they're like 360-ish. Okay, so call me. You can get an Aspen for about 380, 360. They're already spec'd out. Everything they have left, 25 homes. So they'll be sold out in like maybe a couple weeks or so. But the Aspen is super cute. It's two bedrooms plus a den and two baths and it's 1,700 square feet under air. Now we're gonna go take a look at the Briar. All right, now we're at the Briar. You can get a Briar for about 389. They're all spec'd out like I said. Let's take a quick look because I've already done a very extensive video on Manderley before. Come on in. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna look at the Dahlia. They have a few Dahlias left. The Dahlia is my favorite house, my favorite new construction home in Port St. Lucie. You can get a Dahlia for about 476, and that's because it is a larger home. It is 2,300 square feet under air, and it is a three bedroom, two bath home. Let's go inside. does offer gas for cooking and for your laundry stuff. All right, let's go. And we're not gonna see anything else in here because the other thing left well, to see is the Rowan and they don't have any Rowans to sell. So we'll move on. If you want information on what is left in Manderley, contact me and I'll send you the list and I will help you to get pre-approved because they do require you to be pre-approved with their lender and I'll help you through the process. All right, bye. Okay, so very quickly, I wanna show you Telero is by Madame Homes and it's a 55 and over community and it's coming soon. They're already clearing the land out. But of course there aren't any prices or any information on it yet so if you wish to get on an interest list for Telero go ahead and contact me I'll leave my information down below Bye. okay so next community is Heron Preserve that's this is where we are now hand inside Heron Preserve um this community is really nice it's by Pulte Homes their HOA fee it's in tradition so their HOA fee is a little bit high it's like $400 a month I'll tell you what it includes after I go in there and get an update okay and I'll also update you on what prices are right now because they're constantly going up all right let's go see 
All right, so we're at Heron Preserve, and I um, just got an update. The HOA fee here is about $400 a month, and it includes cable, internet, and I think lawn care. And anyway, the location is incredible. And the good thing about Heron Preserve, which I just learned, is that they do not have a CDD. CDD stands for Communi Community Development District, and Heron Preserve has already paid that off so that it doesn't uh, get passed on to the residents, which is great because some of the other communities around here have that hefty $2,000 a year CDD, so you won't get that here. These models are gorgeous and they have spec homes in this neighborhood. The Marina, which is their smallest model, going for about $366. The Canopy, which is like 1,900 square feet under air, going in the 380 range. Citrus Grove in the 450 range and the Dockside whoa they have sold out of the Dockside that is my favorite model and of course it's sold out so I can't show you that one but we'll go see the other ones okay so we're standing in front of the driftwood inside of Heron Preserve the important thing to remember hi is <laughs> is that there is no CDD here and the the location is amazing and the new downtown and tradition is going to be located right across the street from this neighborhood um, so it's a really pretty area to be in all right so we're going to go inside and take a quick look at the driftwood the driftwood is approximately 2500 square feet under air um whoa hold up i'm yeah 2445 under air and you can get a driftwood like this cutie pie right behind me for about 380 so call me i'll send you this list and i will get you through the process um, informed on Heron Preserve. I have all the goodies here. All right, enjoy the tour. The Driftwood model is closed, so let's go see if any of the other ones are open. Okay, so this is the Marina model inside of Heron Preserve. This one is 1,674 square feet under air, and it's currently going for 360 to 380 range. So let me know if you like it, and I'll send you information about this awesome house. all right so i am still inside of heron preserve it is such a beautiful day in florida what is today march what i don't, I don't even know today's march 17th it's a beautiful day. If you don't live in Florida, you need to get to it, okay? Before we run out of houses. All right, so I was actually so impressed today with Heron Preserve. I've come here in the past with another client and they started to price at their home and they went bonkers with upgrades and their home ended up being so expensive that they couldn't buy it. So, but that's not anybody's fault, right? <laughs> that's just their fault because they added just every single option you can imagine. Anyway, the point is that they have spec homes and the prices are not bad. Like for example, the canopy, which is 1972 under air, that house is super cute. It's like three, 380 ish, you know? It's gonna change so by the time you call me you know a few months in the future it's gonna be a little bit different but the prices are not bad and yeah the HOA fee is about 400 but it includes high-speed internet it includes cable it includes security mo security monitoring you're in the best area in tradition because you're gonna be right across the street from downtown tradition which is amazing um, oh my gosh, and it includes lawn care. So you're paying $400 a month, but you're getting your money's worth at the end of the month. They're taking care of everything for you. So for me, that's amazing. All right, if you want more information on Heron Preserve, please feel free to contact me. I'll leave the information down below. I think this community is quite nice. I'm gonna record a little bit before I leave so you guys can take a look. All right, bye. 
Hi, I'm Charlize, and right now you're going to be seeing the pool clubhouse for Heron Preserve. It's under construction right now, but will be done soon. Heron Preserve is looking. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Would you pay $400 a month if they took care of cable, internet, lawn care, and you're in the best area in tradition? I would. Okay, next we are at Ryan Holmes at Crosstown Commons. This community has three different builders Ryan Holmes, Miranda, and DR Horton. Um, Ryan Holmes, I'm not gonna do like a crazy amount of recording in there because I already have a video on YouTube. I'll link it up here for you. Um, you can get the really pretty Seagate model, which is their one story home for about 330 ish if you don't go crazy with upgrades. You could get their beautiful two-story Summerland home for about $350, $360. Um, but I have watched a client recently come in here and go crazy with upgrades. And I mean, they really can get very expensive if you don't watch your upgrades. But anyway, so yeah, that's how much you can pretty much buy a house for with Ryan Homes and their HOA fee, including the CDD, which again is community development development district is going to be about 197 a month all right here we go
Okay, so now we are, I ran out of space on my GoPro, so now I'm shooting on my iPhone. Now we're in PGA Verano. I've been here a million times. I love this place. This is the catalog of gated communities for families for sure. Yes, the HOA fee is a little high. It is like $480 a month, but it includes everything and anything. And it is truly spectacular to live here. They take care of your lawn, cable, internet. The amenities are incredible. They even have cooking classes, golf is optional in this community. The most popular models are the huge and incredible and incomparable Colina. I love that house, that's my favorite. Um, the Casita is one of their smaller models that you can currently get for, the last one I sold was about 335 and it was high, and it was on a nice lot with some nice upgrades so by the time that you see this video the prices will be different because the prices keep going up on everything so um call me and i will send you a list of what they have and they are right now they got a, a they got a release of lots which is great but they are restricted with how much they can sell because they're selling too fast um, so I think it's about keeping up with the uh, construction. I don't know. I don't know why, but they can't sell as many homes as they used to per month. So anyway, I have really good contacts inside PGA Verano. And um, let's go take a look at only two models because I've done an extensive tour of this community. And I'm going to link it for you up here <laughs> somewhere so that you can look at it. Even though I know it's not a great video, but... We're gonna remake that in the future and right now we're just gonna record the Colina so you can see because the house is spectacular and the Casita. Okay, we'll record those two just so you know. And like I said, the HOA fee is like 470, 480 a month. But my goodness, if you're okay with that, it is absolutely worth it because you get so much. Bye. This is the Colina. This house is so amazing. Be ready to be amused. So yeah, it's kind of hard to keep it stable though. It's easier on the GoPro. What people love about the Colina is that it has a cabana bath. So if you want to build a pool, it's amazing. It's the only one that has that cabana bath option right there. I just got my finger in the corner. Oh, it's right. PJ Verona has 11 decorated models. They're all beautiful. I should mention that we're not gonna record the dual state today, but the dual state is amazing and people love it because every single bedroom is an ensuite. Every single bedroom has a bathroom inside and that's what makes it special. But today we're just doing the Colina and the Casita. If you want an in-depth video tour of any of these models, I am super happy to put that together for you. Just send me a request and I'll do it, okay. The 
this is the Casita model. The reason I am picking this one as one of their most popular models is because it's actually like um, a little over 1,800 square feet under air and you can get it for a pretty good price with nice upgrades on a nice lot for like about 330, which is a great deal in PJ Brano. Why is this one so long? Isn't it cute? I still look up with these. So just grab a peek, a quick peek of the island. That's what people love. All right, so that does it for PJ Verano. PJ Verano is for families. It's a really great place to own a golf cart, to get outdoors, to take cooking classes, pickleball, whatever. They have so many activities here. Um, so yeah, if you want information on what is available in PJ Verano, message us. Bye. Okay, and then we're going to Copper Creek. Copper Creek is interesting because you can get a really good house for a really good price. I'm talking like a four bedroom house for about 300, 315. But it's out of the way. So you have to go around PGA Village to get to Copper Creek. And so when you get there, all there is is Copper Creek and a high and like a school, Alapata Flats, that's it. Um, there's no gro grocery stores out there. There's no gas stations, there's nothing. But it only takes 10 minutes to get there, so I don't know. Some people find it freaky. I don't love it, personally. I think you can get a great house, but I don't like being far away from things like that. It's only 10 minutes, though. So some people, for some people, it's no big deal. For some people, Copper Creek is perfect because of the amount of house you can get there right but for some people that's a deal breaker and they don't want to be far away from things like that so anyway you tell me this is the drive to copper creek it takes i give or take from st lucie west it takes about seven or eight minutes maybe ten let me know what you think i'll show you copper creek when we get there oh and by the way Copper Creek is selling out so fast that they have a huge wait list to be able to buy a house. So if you want to get on the wait list, let me know and I'll hook you up. I'll put you on that wait list, okay? Okay, I forgot to mention that the HOA fee in Copper Creek is $150 a month, but it doesn't include diddly squat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take that back. It includes the common areas and the clubhouse which is actually pretty nice and I think that's it it doesn't include anything else so there's that too all right so I went around PGA Village and I am at the crossroads of Glades Cutoff Road and Commerce Center Drive and this is the street you have to take to get to Copper Creek so check it out there is nothing back here I mean nothing it only took like five minutes to get here but there's nothing back here and that is the problem a lot of people have with Copper Creek. I personally, I mean, I don't like it for that reason, but some people love it because of the amount of house. And to be honest, like everything is gonna be built out west this way anyway. So this will eventually be the, the bees knees, but for right now it's not. Okay, so that only took like three minutes down the creepy road, but here we are. You can start to see the Copper Creek development. It's pretty nice. I mean, when you get there, you're going to see that they have some models. Those models are all completely sold out. So they have new models coming out soon. But we're going to try and sneak into some of the sample homes that they may have available under construction. Or maybe not. 
knows? It's kind of hard to get in here without an appointment. So if you need an appointment, make sure you call your realtor people. But yes, this is the entrance to Copper Creek. It's a gated community. It's, you know, it's not so bad. Seven or eight minutes to get back here. I mean, that's the school. So it's Copper Creek and that school over there, Alameda Flats. That's it. That's all there is out here. So if you need to go to Aldi's, you're going to drive 10 minutes. If you need to go to Publix, you're going to drive 10 minutes. Everything St. Lucie West is going to be 10 minutes away. All right? All right, so I'm in Copper Creek now. This is the Lincoln model. We're actually gonna be able to walk in. They don't have models for these yet, but this is one of those situations where the house is sold, but they're letting people in um, for just a few more days. So we're gonna get to go inside and take a look. And I take it back. For some people, Copper Creek might really be worth it. This is a huge house and it's like 310. So I don't know. For some people it's worth it the drive is really not bad it was only like seven minutes so i don't know i think it's it might be worth it but you'll know when you get here how you feel So now we're still in Copper Creek. We're gonna go inside of the Helena. This is a monster house. It's like 3,000 square feet and it's like 330. I don't know. It's You get really good deals here at Copper Creek, to be honest. Okay, so that was Copper Creek. Oop. All right. I'm going to owe you guys Veranda Gardens and Viscaya Falls because it is 
five o'clock and by the time I get there they're gonna be gone so I guess that's seven communities for families I hope you enjoyed this tour thank you for watching and uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions bye